Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome to episode 100 of Cities in Motion 2. Can you believe we have reached a cool century of Cities in Motion 2 videos? I've said this so many times in previous episodes, but when I started this series it was just going to be a game I enjoyed playing, I wanted to record it, it was going to sit alongside Football Manager, Football Manager was always going to be the main series and this one was just going to be the side series and you guys made it the other way around. You guys like this video more than the others. Um, you guys like the series more than the others. So I kept on making this series and uh, put all the other ones to bed, basically. So, we are in the central city. And I'm going to use a bad word here, guys. It's a bad word. It starts with T. Um, I never thought I'd hear myself say this word in, in this game. And I'm really, really sorry to anybody if I if I say this word and you guys are offended by it but the word is traffic look at it it is atrocious this poor bus it's part of our north south line and I ended up having to detour the line just so that the bus would actually have a chance of getting to uh, the northern hub before breaking down and it's it's really really bad it's three lanes solid. Look at this direction as well. There's three buses trapped under in that tunnel under the river. There's another one there and there's another one down there. And the reason this one's trapped, you can see just how far this traffic goes. This lane ends up, it's because this car is trying to get into this lane. And because it can't, the whole thing's ground to a halt. And why is everybody queuing? I hear you ask. Well, you can see now, all of the threes, all three of these lanes here, slalom over and turn into one. And why? So they can turn off here and then turn off this way into parts of the city. And for me, that that just isn't good enough. I'm afraid that just isn't good enough. You see, I tried to fix it. I turned this into four lanes, so there'd be two lanes that could turn left. But again, the traffic here, trying to get underneath the expressway here, it's just killed it absolutely killed it. One option I do have is to scrap this road or turn it into a... actually that's a good point. I could turn this into a one-way street. Um, so there we go. That might fix it a little bit. But as soon as these cars get out of the way buses fly down here. Look, there's nobody queuing here. And likewise in this direction it's because they're all trying to get into one lane but the bus, at the moment at least, can fly straight past. It's only right near the end that it has to get over. In fact, it doesn't even have to do that anymore because it now turns off. But before that, it had to get over into the left-hand lane here in order to turn left at the end. It doesn't actually have to do that anymore. So once it gets into this tunnel... You see, there's, there's next to no traffic in the other two lanes. It's just the, the left-hand lane where it's really, really bad. And there you go. That bus is now free. It can carry on with its journey. Whereas this side, all three lanes, you see them starting to move over here, and it is all just so they can turn off at this junction, and it is absolutely ridiculous. I want to keep this junction, because it's a key archery of getting into this South Island. It's very, very important, but it is ludicrous how many cars just want to get down here. And it's also stupid that you can't make, say, three of these lanes left turn. For some reason, it's always... The amount of lanes that it goes into, minus one. So in this case, it's two. Both of these two lanes here, you can turn left at. The uh, rest of it is not an option. Right, give me one second, guys. I need to sort something out, and I'll be back in one second. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, that actually gives me a really, really good opportunity to tell you a little bit more about episode 100. Um, this episode is going to be recorded over the period of four days, I'd say. Today is Monday. Um, for those of you who've watched episode 99, I recorded that in real time for me about 15, 20 minutes ago. I think I finished that one. And I got it straight up, edited it, rendered it, and I'm currently in the process of uploading it. So that should be online for you guys at the normal time. If it isn't, then I do apologize. Um, and I said in that episode that so far I only had one suggestion as for what I can do for this episode and that was an extra long episode which is exactly what I'm doing now uh, as well as that 
I wanted to do a series of jump cut things anyway. There's a couple of YouTubers who I'm watching at the moment who have reached milestones a bit like this with some of their series. And they've taken the approach that I kind of wanted to take in the first place of really, really long episode, much, much longer than a normal episode, um, and trying to engage with the fans a bit more. So they did Q&As or they asked people what they wanted them to do and, and followed the suggestions. And that's exactly what I want to do as well. So um, obviously by the time this one goes up, it would be too late to give suggestions. But the first suggestion that I had and the only suggestion suggestion that I've had so far is an extra long episode. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be recording this Monday to, let's say, Thursday morning-ish. And then uh, at that point I'm going to stop recording, I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to upload it. So it's ready to go live Friday evening. Because of that, we're going to be doing a lot of work in this episode. And there's going to be lots of little jump cuts. I might be interrupted having to go and sort things out. Uh, and that's why jump cuts aren't such a bad thing. And I just thought I'd let you guys know that now so that you're used to it by the time it actually starts happening in the episodes. So uh, now we've got that out of the way. I want to sort out this traffic problem, this four lane thing here, because it is really, really going to annoy me otherwise. It's just the fact that they don't get over until it's way too late. And then there's this huge pile up here. They all want to go into one lane, because they all want to turn left. But they want to turn left into a specific lane. They don't want to turn left here. You can see this huge gap, because he's now decided he wants to go in that lane. And it's it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, it all depends on where they're going as well. Commercial building, which is north of here. What the hell is he doing? He's going north. I think I've worked out what the problem is. Yes, I think I know what the problem is with this guy especially. Is He's probably just come onto the f expressway here, or he's come from down there somewhere, and he's turning off so that he can turn the car round down here and get back onto the expressway to go in the direction that he actually wants. Let's uh, pop this in fast forward and see which direction he goes in, shall we? The sequence of lights as well, that's another problem. Because there's five junctions, or five roads coming into this. Um, yeah, it, each one gets a go, which means if you're sat, especially at this set of lights, you're sat waiting for a long time, because there's no direct opposite. So it's not like these two where green might be at the same time and these two where green might be at the same time. It's not like that at all. So what are the odds that he turns left here? Yep. And he gets in the left hand lane because he's going to turn left at these lights too. There he goes. Yep. And then he's going to head off up the freeway in that direction. And because of that, all of our buses are breaking down, which doesn't do our service much good. Our reputation will drop because of that. We've actually got 72% reputation at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. So what am I going to do? How am I going to change this? I could just build like a two-lane system that comes up, loops round, and then joins up again. Or, the better option is... Actually, what I could have done was kept hold of that car and find out where he'd come from. Because at some point we're going to have to come up with um, transport ideas as well to fix this issue. So like a monorail or a metro or something. Because we used to have the old tangerine line run down here. Um, and I wouldn't say that helped too much with all traffic. But it helped with some of it. Whereas now obviously we've lost that. Because I well, took it out. That's my mistake. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it out. But I did. Right, I think building this like this. We lose a couple of buildings. But, I think it's a really good way for people to go in the direction that they actually want to go in. We've got an unusual slope here as well. It only just gets over the monorail. But we'll see who uses that. Because that might fix some of our problems. This road as well, we can turn into a one-way street. Um... Yeah, two lane, one way street. I think I'll probably. Actually, no, it's turned into a four lane. So then you should have two and two. Yes. Awesome. 
So now all the traffic coming from whichever direction, <coughs> excuse me, can get in the right lane and get straight onto the uh, expressway to head in the direction that they want to go in. Uh, what that doesn't help with at the moment is this traffic and all of these cars wanting to turn left. We could try and direct this road so they can only turn right, but I think that's going to be really, really difficult to do logistically. The other option we have is to take this slip road out completely, but then it defeats the point of having this as a, a one-way street. Can't do much here because the avenue and the trams. Uh, this is the Carmine South, isn't it? Yes, it is. We just want to free our buses. You can see, actually, traffic is starting to flow a little bit easier now. <clears throat> Maybe that's because they've realised they can turn right here instead and go up this way. Now, that would be cool if they've worked that one out. Let's see which way they go. So, all four lanes there now are pretty much packed. Now, these guys are going off this way. There's a few cars which are going off in this direction. Not many. And it's starting to build up again. Has anybody used this road yet? I haven't seen them. But I just, just look at the traffic. It's absolutely... Wow, three solid lanes here. It starts moving again a little bit further up. I mean, that, that is bad. And there's two solid lanes of traffic here, which probably means there's some traffic underneath here waiting. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic down there waiting. And our poor bus here is now held up because he can't get over. Although, once that starts moving, there you go. He managed to shimmy over once. And then, maybe behind this red car, he'll shimmy over again. So that's one problem fixed. The second problem is over here. And it's our metro. Look at it. It's just chock-a-block of trains. I've already come up with a kind of idea for a fix. I'm going to quickly save this because I'm going to test it out. What it involves doing is removing all of these four track sections here and putting in two track. What that does now mean is every single track that comes from this direction here, say, now has to go into two. Or, another idea is... No, nah, it's probably not going to work, actually. I was going to say, force all the trains around this way, and then have a line that breaks off and loops back round, so then they all come in from the same direction. But I don't think that's going to work. Uh, but I need to replace this bit of track as well. With a two-way piece, like so. And it bringing them down from four tracks to two, just that little bit earlier, might help. How many trains have we... Yeah, quite a few trains got removed because of that. Is our water bus system working? It kind of is. There's a queue to get into the depot and I think that's going to be the problem. Because there's vehicles waiting to get out of the depot and there's vehicles waiting to go into the depot and that's never good news. So that should fix it. Although again there's now going to be a queue waiting to get into the depot. Oh yeah, it's stressful. The new loop lines are working nicely though, carrying passengers around the city. We've got a lovely queue of monorail trains here, which we uh, should probably deal with.
Okay guys, we are back. Uh, I forgot to mute my TV, just give me one second. There we go, now we are back. And we have some major rebuilding work to do in our metro. Now I had a comment, I think it was from Felix Train, saying uh, about building the metro lines so that they were on separate tracks and the trains never meet. And as much as I want to keep my system integrated and have trains be able to run in all different directions and go to different destinations, I think he's got a point. I think really my best option is to separate some of these lines. Um, now the idea I have is to carry on with the integration of the trains running down the same track here and going off in their separate directions. But at this junction here, I think I've got room to break a single line off and have it slope down underneath to a new area like these two but built underneath this section and then have a similar line that will come up and join up again on this side that is my plan so for that to work I need to build this new uh, section underground first so let's grab 4 by yeah this one I want to take it one, two, three, four, five, six, underground. And we want to take it from there to. Actually, hang on. Let's take it down one, two more. Take it down to eight. We want to go from that point in a straight line. From this point in a straight line to this point like so so that's one and then we want to do the same thing again on this bit here so where does this one end that one ends there so this one going from here no wait here to here like that Okay, and now we want to put this one in from there to there, like so. It's a bit, yeah, it'll work, it'll work. And then um, a single track from here, which goes one, two, three, four, five to there, or there maybe, and then curve round we have room saying not enough space could it be because of let's go back one let's put it there and then see if it will curve round yeah there you go that's that one done and then from here we'll go down two to this bit and then Does that connect up? The intersecting roads are at too tight an angle. Okay. Just have to bring this one down a tiny bit more. 